are going to die. Young people are going to die. People are going to lose their jobs. Things are going to happen. What I saw today, I didn't like it. It's not only this church. It is an attack over the church. Not a half. Church at large. Are you understanding? And the enemy is planning that the church will end the year bad. But thank God that you have a prophet among you who has seen ahead of time to stop it. Are you understanding me? And God gave me a mission to do tonight and then one by far. And on tomorrow we'll continue with the message of orders. Because the we have to deal with it. Mami, open up, open up, open up. Who be with you on Sunday? Sometimes they casa. People take it for granted. They think your dad and me need each other. They casa. Listen to me carefully. I'm not. I'm not that kind of prophet where I speak to please people. I only say what God has spoken. What I saw today. My heart has been down for like four hours. And you will see, you will hear that. Young guys are dying 34, 35, 40, 50 before the end of the year. It will be wrong months. People will complain of finances terribly. People will lose their jobs. But we're going to stand and pray that as a church, yeah, what I say, anybody who is connected to us no, we will not go through that problem. Amen. And you also stand for your family. Are you understanding me? So we're going to end time some serious 30 minute prayer. That is my mission for tonight. And after, I'll go back to what God brought me here to do. Are you understanding me? Yes. Are you understanding me? Yes. As I said, I don't preach sermons. I say what God has asked me to do. So this is what God told, me, has told us to do. So we're going to pray. So if you have prayer warriors here, in the next 10 to 10 minutes, 20 minutes from I will take the microphone and I will begin to pray. In a bomb pipe, a hot prayer. After I will lay my hands on everybody, cover you with the blood and declare that you and your family is exempted. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is, this is better than mentioning your name and your telephone number and your shoe size number. Are you understanding me? Your shoe size number will be mentioned and after you lose your job. What is the essence? Are you understanding me? This is the, the prophetic direction for the church. And we have to stand on it to pray. So as soon as I, 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 I saw that dream, I said dream, that revelation, and I was praying, I had a text from a prophet friend who is in London, who I also respect and cherish. He also SMS me, he said, prophet, I had a dream. I said, what was the dream? He said, I saw in a dream that I was traveling or I was in a country, and I saw a lot of cops. What is the meaning? And it clicked on what God told me. Bible says, out of two mouths, a matter is established. Are you understanding me? Mm -hmm. Two witnesses, a matter is established. So, for two prophets to see at the same time frame, that means it's a very serious thing that we need to address. It's the only empire one. Shall sell your warm up. Are you understanding me? Mm -hmm. Are you understanding me? Because sometimes one person can let the whole boat sink. So in my church, I tell them, if you come here, you are not ready. Exit. Leave. Because Obi attitude will be, I see Masa. Can you imagine? Obi a new room of fire. No, time is on phone ringing. What can't you flow? And I said, we need to bring one panel. I said, Pacho, remember, 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 So there's a lot of stuff. So a lot of stuff. And I see any funny attitude. Are you understanding me? Because it's a very serious sure thing. One day God visited. God visited the prophet. And he said, has this thing ever happened to you before? He said, say it to your children. And let your children say it to their children. And he says, that those who are breastfeeding, let them leave their chamber. Those who are in their honeymoon, let them leave their chamber. And begin to wait on God. Now another scripture says, what the locusts have eaten, the cankerworms have also 
Are you understanding me? So locusts eat and then they also eat and then everything was utterly destroyed. So you realize that there comes a time where there is an emergency. We call it a call to prayer. That we have to stand and pray. Are you understanding me? Yeah. So begin to prepare yourself to pray. Begin Amen. to prepare yourself to pray. Amen. We're going to really pray. We're Amen. going to really pray. I insist we are going to really pray. Amen. Hot prayer. Amen. 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 Before we get into details, uh, and then yesterday, your altar seed. You still have your altar seed. Please drop it on the altar quick for me. Breaking up the altar. You still have the seed. Drop it on the altar for me quick. Let's do it in three minutes. Amen. If you drop it, please let me pray for you before you say Lift up your hands, please. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus, as I drop this seed, any altar in our lineage is broken. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we declare, I declare, never again will I see this evil order flowing my destiny. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please take your seats. But if you made a pledge yesterday that you're going to help with them, Support of the program, you remember 150, 20, 30, up to 10. 